Here are some police scary stories. Number one, the high speed chase. A police officer detects a car driving through a residential area and chases it at great speed to catch the driver. High speed chases are risky for officers and civilians. Accidents, injuries, and death can result. Quick actions and driving skills help the police prevent community danger in this story. Police are trained in numerous pursuit strategies to safely catch offenders without endangering themselves or the public. Using emergency vehicles, barricades, and smart driving maneuvers, they can catch the suspect. High-speed chases require cops to communicate with their dispatch center and other officers. This keeps everyone informed and allows for help. Officers are educated to use emergency vehicles with the right safety features and wear seatbelts and helmets during high-speed chases to reduce dangers. The police officer arrests the driver, proving their commitment to community safety. Quick actions and driving skills help the police protect the neighborhood and safeguard everyone's safety. Number two, the home invasion community. The home invasion community is a harrowing scenario where a police officer responds to a call about a home invasion in progress. Upon arrival, the officer finds the intruder inside the home and manages to subdue the intruder, protecting the homeowner. The officer's bravery and quick thinking prevent further harm to the homeowner and maintain the safety of the community. Here, the explanation of this situation. When a home invasion call is made, the officer must act quickly and comprehend the risks. The police must properly examine the situation, including the intruder and homeowner's safety. Upon arrival, this situation requires the officer to be calm and think critically under pressure. The officer's apprehension and conflict resolution training helps subdue the invader and protect the homeowner. The situations may require verbal directives, physical constraints, or non-lethal force. The cop protects the homeowner and neighborhood by subduing the intruder. Even in risky and unpredictable situations, the officer is dedicated to protecting and serving the public. The police may need to support the homeowner and arrange medical or security assistance after the occurrence. This shows that the police care about the neighborhood. The home invasion shows how police must act quickly and bravely in life-threatening situations. It emphasizes law enforcement's vital role in public safety and protection. The Rooftop Standoff The Rooftop Standoff is a high-stakes scenario where a police officer is called to a building where a gunman is holding hostages on the rooftop. The officer negotiates with the gunman, eventually talking them down and saving the lives of the hostages. The officer's ability to communicate and de-escalate the situation prevents further violence and maintains public safety. Here's a deep explanation of the situation. In a rooftop standoff, the officer must use crisis negotiation to talk to the gunman. This requires staying cool while trying to comprehend the other person's reasons and requests. The officer's de-escalation training helps calm the gunman and get them to surrender. This may involve active listening, empathy, and possible solutions. The police must monitor hostage and community risk throughout negotiations. This entails understanding the standoff dynamics and making intelligent decisions under pressure. The cop protects the public by negotiating the gunman's surrender and securing the hostages 
This shows the officer's dedication to community safety and life-saving in dangerous solutions. Rooftop standoffs often need law enforcement and emergency response cooperation. Peaceful resolution requires the officer's ability to work with SWAT and crisis negotiators. The rooftop standoff shows how law enforcement must handle high-risk situations and protect the public. Effective communication, de-escalation, and risk assessment are crucial to resolving potential fatal standoffs. Number four, the undercover operation is a law enforcement tactic where a police officer infiltrates a criminal gang or poses as an offender to gather evidence on their activities. This method is essential for detecting and obtaining evidence of convert criminal dealings that do not directly involve complaining victims, such as drug trafficking and bribery of public officials. In the story of the undercover operation, the police officer successfully infiltrates the criminal gang, gathers evidence on their activities, and ultimately leads to the dismantling of the gang and the arrest of its members. The officer's courage and dedication to protecting the community are evident in this story, as they risk their safety to uncover the truth and bring criminals to justice. Number five, the choking incident. Police respond to a complaint about a man choking on food. In the choking incident, when the officer arrives, the man is unconscious, and the Heimlich maneuver dislodges the food. Pound on the table, uh, what I thought was, because I heard silverware shake, I just kind of looked back, and as soon as I looked back, I could see he was fully red. How are you coming, man? How are you Saving his life, the cop calls an ambulance and stays with the victim until help arrives, assuring his safety and rehabilitation. The Heimlich Maneuver is a first aid method for airway obstruction. Standing behind the victim, squeeze the abdomen to force the object out of the neck. The police officer's fast thinking and first aid skills saved the man's life. Preventing significant injury or death from choking requires immediate intervention. Police officers receive first aid and emergency response training for such scenarios. This officer's training and experience allowed them to act fast and save the man. This anecdote shows the officer's commitment to the man's safety and recuperation. Um, which made it real easy for me to get underneath and behind. After doing the Heimlich technique, the officer summoned an ambulance and waited with the man. In emergencies, this level of detail shows the officer's dedication to protecting and serving the community. Police officers need first aid and emergency response training, as shown in the choking incident. It also shows police officers' attention to community safety and well-being. Thank you so much for joining. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. I'll see you in the next video.